I, my name is Greg Haddad. I represent the 54th District, which includes Mansfield and Chaplin. Um, and, uh, uh, and I'm here to support uh, passage of uh, House Bill 5291, increasing in minimum wage. More, more importantly, I'm here to, uh, to uh, thank you for allowing me to share my time in support of increasing in minimum wage with two of my constituents, um, Ethan Oliver and Kevin Sheehan. Um, they are eighth graders who attend Mansfield Middle School, and um, they're here with me today because earlier this year, I uh, sponsored an essay contest where I challenged eighth graders in my district to write to me about an idea for a change in the law in Connecticut. Um, and I get a lot of great ideas and suggestions from, from members of, uh, of, the, of, of both of the middle schools in my district. Um, Ethan and Kevin and Alice Hu, who could not be with us here today, wrote to me about increasing the minimum wage. Um, I, um, uh, and since, uh, since we're considering this bill today, I thought it would be a great opportunity to also invite them here to testify in front of the committee. Senator Prague, Representative Zelaski, and members of the Labor and Public Employees Committee, my name is Ethan Oliver. I'm an eighth grade student from Mansfield Middle School. Thank you for allowing me to appear before you today. I submitted an essay to Representative Haddad that proposed increasing the minimum wage. Increase the minimum wage and you can help the average consumer get more for their money. This will increase the amount of money earned and can help maintain a balanced budget between paying taxes, paying off the house, paying off the new car, and paying off the credit card. This can also make lower, in lower income families happier because they can make more money. Increasing the minimum wage will also allow people to make necessary purchases. If people are not able to make these purchases, which could be as simple as food, they would have to be in debt or even worse, declare bankruptcy. This would mean that some students would not, could not go on the Sturbridge Village trip in sixth grade and further their knowledge on that time period. I am aware that there is a student activity form that puts some students through the trip but what if too many are not able to afford the trip because they cannot even buy simple things like food on a regular basis because they make minimum wage? These are just some of the things that could happen if the minimum wage is not increased. Also, if parents make payments such as doctor bill, a chiropractor, then these small businesses will eventually go out of business, and then the economy will be even worse. I hope you agree with me and change the minimum wage. Thank you. Senator Prague, Representative Zelaski. and members of the Labor and Public Employees Committee. Thank you for the chance to testify today. My name is Kevin Sheehan and I support increasing the minimum wage. I wrote an essay to Representative Haddad asking him to support it too. Raising the minimum wage would help people pay for school. Some people have to put themselves through college, which is a very heavy burden. Oftentimes, the people that have to work and go to school at the same time have minimum wage jobs trying to pay off their student loans. Even after graduation, on average, students have a $25,250 debt to pay off. Hopefully by that time, one would find a higher paying job with help from a degree and would be able to pay off more each month. Having a higher income each week would give people more money to spend without having to worry about costs of heating, lighting, etc. When a person has more money, they can spend more money in stores, which would help the economy because people are getting more money to spend, which gives a company more money, and then everyone can pay their workers more, and it keeps repeating, and everyone will have money. Also, if the economy starts to get better, then the unemployment rate will drop because companies would need more workers to fulfill the needs of the customers. With an increase of the minimum wage, bills would be slightly less stressful and would have less of an impact on what a family could or cannot buy. I feel that many people would benefit from this increase in minimum wage and many people could provide better care for themselves and their family. With a little extra spending money, a person could buy luxury items which would lead to a happier life and in turn would lessen the chance of that person committing a crime. As you can see, raising the minimum wage would be, a good, would be good because it gives people more money each week. I would be extremely happy if this was passed and I'm sure thousands of others would be too. Thank you. 